welcome back i'm sorry i haven't been consistent with my videos but i'm here now last time we left off being able to start the game and die we have an end screen but when you reach the end point you don't win so girls making a, a win screen or how to end the game will also export the game to pc but for this video we would look at creating an effect for an explosion effect when you die because it's just like you just disappear <laughs> anyways so let's get straight to it so i would um, link a folder a zip file with an explosion particle effect which handles explosion um, in the description because that's the effect you would use um, you can always get particle effects from the asset store or you can make one i'll make a separate video on how to create particle effects um, so for this video when you enter the main scene we'll get rid of the canvas a little and then and when you look at the ball object you can see okay so we'll open up the ball object in visual studio and then we'll create um, a game object a public game object we'll call it explosion and then um we'll, um okay so first of all let's check that the public field has popped up so we have the public field so what we'll do is that we'll drag and drop the explosion particle effect prefab in that field right now it doesn't do anything so if you hit anything nothing will happen so where we have the logic for destroying the game object um, we'll try and make it easy we'll instantiate again the, the, the explosion effect so there's a function called instantiate which um, will pass in the game object we want to instantiate which is the explosion um, object the position which is this position the transform dot position and this dot transform dot rotation if we didn't add the this um, keyword which will still have um, worked as we expected but there's a problem with this now we are destroying the game object just right after we instantiate the effect so what we are going to see is that when we get an object okay this show uh, um, okay okay so that's basically it um i was assuming that the because we are destroying the game object just right after we um we are destroying it just after we instantiated it it didn't show so we could have passed maybe a time like uh one or 0 0.5 seconds you can see the float t but since it's working that's fine and so that's basically it for this video i hope you enjoy it and uh, the next one we will look at ending the game. Oh, okay. um, you can bring the canvas back, and then you should have everything. Yeah. All right, so that's it. <laughs> 